Are you in a long distance relationship? Kind of worried about trust? What communication is going to look like? I know it can be tough at times, but if you are in a long distance relationship, this video is for you. So stay tuned. What's up, Brave Hearts community? This is Sean Heineman, your premier pre-engagement coach, back with another segment of It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Long distance relationships, they can be challenging. And in this day and age, long distance relationships are a lot more common. But a lot of them don't work. And some of them do work. Some of you know my story. I met my wife on Instagram, slid in the DMs, like the pictures. We marry six months later. So you, I know you're thinking, Sean, why would you marry someone that you met six months after meeting them on Instagram? You, you married this woman. You obviously you didn't know her, right? Here's the thing. Are you a content creator, YouTuber? Maybe you've interviewed someone on your video podcast and they said something that was really, really good. Or maybe you said something that was really, really good. Well, enter Opus Clips. This is the platform that I use when I want to share 30 to 60 second video clips that I can share with the whole world. I mean, you can share those clips on TikTok. YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram reels, like these 30 to 60 second clips that Opus Clips can give to you with the click of a mouse. All you have to do is upload the recording and boom, Opus Clips within maybe 10 minutes will give you 15 to 25 different clips with description on the side of the video. And it also gives you like a title and it gives you a rating and let you know how powerful that clip can be used on social media from a rating of 99 all the way down to maybe 60. This is a phenomenal platform that has took my social media marketing to another level. If you want to level up your social media game, go in the description below right now and get the link for Opus Clips. This will not disappoint you. With us reading books together, it took our relationship to a different level. One of the books that we read was 48 Laws of Power. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Why in the world would you read 48 Laws of Power? Because it's actually a great book and it really opens your mind to think. One of the things that I love about my wife is that she stimulates me mentally. I need someone who's going to stimulate me. I love documentaries. I love books, learning, reading. I love watching preachers. Uh, I love listening to podcasts, educational things, business, of course, relationships. So all these things are important to me. So when I asked my wife to read books with me, she was down for the cause. And I was thinking, oh, okay, I think we can really make this work. And we stuck with it all the way through. So to me, us reading books together showed me that she was committed. 48 Laws of Power, again, I wouldn't recommend just say reading it, you know, page for page because it's very dense, as you can see. But my wife and I, we got through it. But it is some great content. If you prefer to listen to it on audiobook, that would be great. Another book that we read together was... Sacred Influence by Gary Thomas, a really great book. And some of the things that that was highlighted that stood out to me in this book says things like this. If we think on negative things, nursing bad attitudes or critical spirits, our emotions take a downward spiral. Conversely, if we think on things that are good, true, right, things that we are thankful for, then our emotions can be uplifted. So there's things in the books that my wife and I had highlighted that you actually get to learn more about this person when you're reading a book. Because when you're dating, and especially you're dating long distance, you, you know, usually you're just talking about your day, you're talking about your past, you're talking about your kids, you're talking about your career, all these different things. But if you can find someone that can stimulate you mentally and you read things in books, 
it expands their mind. It makes them to think outside of themselves. And you actually get to uh, share experiences that you totally forgot about because you're reading a book. Here are some other things that uh, I had highlighted in this book. The typical man remains unmoved by power plays or criticism or by a wife who disrespects him. He, he's moved by a wife who lets him lead and then helps him get to where he needs to go. So there's things, again, that was highlighted. And my wife and I, we would talk, say, what did you think about this right here? What did you think about this? You know, or we would look at things and be like, oh, I had that highlighted too. Oh, you had to highlight it. Okay, well, what did you think about it? That sparks the conversation. Another book that we read was The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown, because a lot of times people ask, what did you and your wife read? So here are some of the books that I actually still have that we talked about uh, while we were dating long distance. And here's a quote from the book says, if we have one or two people in our lives who can sit with us and hold space for our shame stories and love us for our strengths and struggles, we are incredibly lucky. I thought that was good. And she says, somewhere along the way, we adopt this dangerous and debilitating belief system. I am what I accomplish and how well I accomplish it. Please perform. Perfect. Healthy striving is self-focused. How can I improve? Perfectionalism is other focused. What will they think? Again, great questions uh, and great content from the book, uh, Gifts of Perfection from Brene Brown. A lot of great books. And I will say that the next book my wife and I is reading during our bedtime, we got to get right back into this because we were doing so well. And then we got off track. So we try to read books together before we go to bed. And just to get that intimacy and in before sleeping, having those stimulating conversations. But this book right here, Set Boundaries, Find Peace by Nedra Glover Tawab is another good one about setting boundaries. So much uh, great content in here. My wife and I, we actually did a video. Uh, we did a start of a series called Books with Bay, And uh, you'll eventually get more of those videos coming. So just look through my videos, you'll be able to see that episode. One quote says, when you've practiced unhealthy boundaries for so long, it's hard to consider your options. You've grown accustomed to not having choices. And she also says in the book, setting boundaries is new for you and the other person. Allow both of you to acclimate to the latest standards in your relationship. Again, great content. And there's a lot of great conversation that goes on behind reading these books. And I will say the last book that really helped my wife and I, our relationship while we were dating long distance uh, it's not exactly this book, but it's the Bible. <laughs> of course, it's the Bible. So it isn't this book. This is my uh, keyword English standard version. I, she just bought this for me for Father's Day. But the Bible is something that my wife and I, uh, we had our Bible studies once a week. We would read the word of God and talk about, you know, what do you think God is saying to you in this, in this season of your life? And we will pray together. Uh, stuff like that. So these books that we read, it really helped us build a foundation. So when I did relocate, there were some things that I knew that she was committed to. You know, I knew she was committed. I knew she was a finisher. I knew that she would finish books, that we would read books together. Now, I know what you're thinking, Sean, uh, my man or my woman, she doesn't like to read. So, you know, we're dating long distance. They don't want to read books. Well, I will say sometimes you can uh, date down <laughs> emotionally or intellectually, right? You can date down in those areas. So it probably will be best if you love reading that you find somebody who enjoys reading with you. I'm not saying it's a deal breaker, but I am saying that it is important that you want to be with someone who can stimulate you mentally and can think outside of themselves, not just their opinions all the time and stuff like that, but actually being open to reading something different, something that's going to help them grow and learn. And you'll be surprised how 
your relationship can grow from reading books together. Again, my wife and I did it. It was foundational for us, especially during the long distance stage. I mean, we would get on Skype uh, and I'm, I guess I'm dating myself. We would get on Skype and we would, you know, read our books together and we would say, OK, we're going to read chapter two. We need chapter two done tomorrow. So that way, when we got on on our Skype call, chapter two needed to be finished and whatever we had highlighted, we would talk about. So it's stuff like that to let you know how committed someone is to you and how they are open to learning. And this is for, again, people who are intellectual. So I hope this video helped you in the description uh, in the description below. These books will be linked.